I'm standing here on our 16th tee at Inverwood, which is a par four, and this particular hole is a dogleg left. In order to shape this shot with a bit of a draw or a little bit of a right to left turn, I'm setting up over toward the left side of the tee box, and then I'm going to also make a few adjustments uh, to my pre-swing or my setup. The first one being, I'm going to close my stance slightly. And what that means is I'm putting my left foot slightly forward. And what that'll do is that's going to slow up my body clearing through the ball and allow me to release the club a bit more with the forearms and wrists and hopefully able to produce that bit of a right to left ball flight. Also, in order to hit a draw or to move the ball right to left, a person needs to really make sure that their grip pressure remains constant and relaxed. If the grip gets too tight, the forearms and wrists cannot properly release the golf club and it's very difficult, if not impossible, to shape a shot with a draw. So make sure, grip pressure wise, keep that grip pressure a little bit lighter in the hands so the hands can work a little bit faster, especially uh, if you're a right-hander, watch out for the right thumb and forefinger. Keep that on the club lightly. That'll give you the hand speed that you need. Once I've got the ball teed up, I'm going to make those adjustments. Take a practice swing or two to kind of get the feel of what I want to do with the shot. Set in. As I mentioned, I'm going to close up my stance a bit. So I've got the left foot forward now, the right foot a bit. I want to keep my grip pressure light. Once I've done that, I'm going to give it a go. And that one I was successful on. So remember, lighten that grip pressure, close that stance, tee up on the side of the trouble, visualize that shot, stay relaxed to make your best swing.